Today, I'm showing you how I buy and trade guitars on Facebook Marketplace. Let's do this. I've been trading guitars for a long time now, and I've had a lot of great success with it. Some of my favorite guitars I've been able to get from just taking an old, crappy, beat-up guitar, maybe worth about 120 150 bucks, and moving that within the Facebook Marketplace in my area up tiers and into American style guitars and finally to guitars that I like. And this is a great tool to have if you maybe can't afford to have 18 different guitars all the time. And so for me to you, I'm going to show you how I sieve through a Facebook Marketplace listing of electric guitars in my area and show you how I go about deciding whether or not I want to try to jump on a guitar or maybe leave it alone and some warning signs that go with trying to find guitars on Marketplace. All right, so first things first, we gotta go to Marketplace. So we're gonna go search the Marketplace for electric guitars. So for today's example, I'm gonna be assuming that I have a guitar that's worth about eighteen to $1,500. Great example of this is a CE24 with PRS. I've got one with me today. So this is a good idea just to go and just search the price range that I wanna search. Now, when you're trading guitars on the Facebook Marketplace, you have to understand that some people are just not going to be interested in trading, and that's fine, just ignore them. But let's go through some of these guitars here that we've got listed here and kind of decide whether or not we're worth trading up to. Now how I decide on a guitar that I want to trade up to is, I look at the value of my guitar, which for the CE24, the high value is like $1,800. Cash value, obviously a lot lower. And I want to see if I can't get 20% more of what that current market value is. So if it's a guitar worth $1,500, I'm trying to find a guitar worth $18. If it's worth $18, I'm trying to touch into $2,000s, all right? I'm not trying to go above and beyond. Sometimes you get lucky and get guitars that are more expensive than others on a trade, but 20% is a really good benchmark to look for when you're trading up guitars in general. So just going through some of these guitars here, what I want to find is something marketable, something that's easy to sell. And so we have a PRS24 here from Chattanooga. I've already got one, but this would be a great guitar to find. It's $1,500. Um, you could probably talk this guy down a little bit if he's not a reputable seller, which he's not. Um, these are great guitars to get because they're so highly sought after. I don't get it why people blur out the serial number. I don't understand that. But 2019 is a, it's a good year. If I were just trying to find a guitar or buy one, or I didn't like the color of my current guitar, and we were worth about the same, I might try to make a lateral trade for one of these guitars. CEs are very popular on the market here in Nashville. It'll, mileage will vary depending on where you're from, but I found that these are really great examples of that. Here's an example of an American Professional 2 that is with a shop. Some Facebook marketplaces have listings from shops, um, you can see how deep and like in depth this, you know, all this, you know, copy is for this guitar, you know. And I've also found that American twos, professional twos, don't try to find them, you know, for this much money. You can find an American professional two from anyone on the market. There's a lot of them in there, and they're only worth about twelve hundred. Maybe if you find a good one that you like, maybe thirteen, but really. The American Pro 2s, even though it's listed for $1,500, i am not really looking for that, right? I'm looking for something more in the, you know, 2000s range, something I can flip for 2000s. Now, here's a good example of a guitar I might be able to flip. A Gibson Les Paul. Now, here are the things about Gibson's Les Pauls that you need to know about. You know, not every Gibson Les Paul has been the same. You have traditionals, you have classics, you have standards. And this guy doesn't really list what Gibson Les Paul this is. He just says it's used, but near mint. Everyone's near mint. It's not even like a thing. Like, don't worry about that. You know, 2010 Gibson Les Paul, only ever used in the studio. So it is clean, and it does have a 2010 case. But look where it says here on the headstock, Les Paul traditional. What also gives it away, lack of a quilt on the top, and we've got speed knobs, traditional speed knobs. These aren't your standard 50s, standard 60s. A Gibson Les Paul traditional is not gonna be an easy sell for us. I found that in Nashville, really, it's only it's only a standard that really sells really well, unless you have some kind of limited or very high-end, like classic or something, maybe gold tops. But for a for unremarkable top like this, then for a guitar that's, you know, 
can easily be sold for 2100 MSRP, you're only probably going to only get it. You're probably only going to get 15 or 16 for it. And to me, going from a CE24 that's at its lowest, 15, for a Gibson Les Paul Traditional, it's not a very good trade for me. And you don't want to get stuck with this. If you get stuck with a Les Paul Traditional, like, it's going to be tough. You might, you might have to make a lateral trade to move out of that. So, I would say no for, for that one. Now, here is one that looks promising right here. Gibson Les Paul Standard. How do I know it's a Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s? Well, I've got the 50s knobs here, the golden buttons, and I've got a quilt on the top. Standards are going to be MSRP 3000. I could probably find a, a buyer or a trader within that 20 to 2500 range, but he's only listing it for 1800, which is really, really great. So if I can find this guy and get him to get a P PRS E24 on trade for this, that would be like a really great trade. You'd be surprised at what people will trade for if the guitar looks good enough. I'll flash up a picture of my CE24 in amber. It's a very beautiful top. It's a great looking guitar. So a Les Paul standard would be prime, especially in the 50s. People tend to like the 50s Les Paul standards more. I consider Les Pauls to be like the old man's guitar. You know, they like them heavy. They don't like them, you know, super gaudy. They just like that good old workhorse style Les Paul and this top. It's a pretty good top. It's not really book matched. Sometimes people like that, sometimes they don't. But this would be a great guitar to go for and to kind of just say, hey, like, how would you think about trading for a, you know, CE24 at some point? All right, so now we've got a 2020 PRS Silver Sky. So I found that Silver Skies are really great guitars to flip. People like the Silver Sky. I'm not a huge fan, but they are a good flipper. A lot of the PRS guitars you know, are going to be good flippers or easy to move as far as like, you know, guitars are concerned. So if you're ever stuck with one, you know, be aware, like you're doing something wrong, in my opinion. A good example is this guitar. So this guitar has been on Marketplace for a long stinking time. A couple reasons why. First of all, not everyone likes gold. Not everyone especially likes gold with a black pick guard. This guy, he said that there is... You know, nothing wrong with the guitar, but he took off the original white pit guard and he put on the black one. Now, to be fair, like he does have the original white pit guard, but here's why it's important that you know how to market to your area. Um, when someone sees that the guitar has been modified in some way, it loses a lot of value in consumers' eyes. And so for me, when I look at this, I think of two opportunities. One, if he has the original guard, I can probably get it from him and put it back on and flip the guitar. Two, this guitar has been around Facebook Marketplace for so long that he'll probably sell it to me for a song. And that's kind of what you want to look for here. There are many guitars that I've received that maybe like, for example, uh, you know, PRS, you know, Floyd, SE Floyd, or I've got a Gibson Southern Jumbo that has a little scuffing on the neck. Someone took four out steel wool and just rubbed the finish down. Those things are reversible with some buffing and some elbow grease, but to a lot of people, it's like, why did you mess up the finish on the neck? This isn't worth anything, so you can get them for a lot cheaper. This is a good example of a guitar that's been on Marketplace for way too long, and you could easily talk him down into the 15 or 1600 range, which really, the PRS Silver Skies, you can find them for 15, 1600 regularly, and so it might be worth your time you know, trying to talk him down, start with a really low amount, and then kind of creep your way up to get this guitar. If you wanted a PRS Silver Sky in Golden Mesa. If you don't want that, then don't get it. But, you know, there's something to think about when you see guitars on Marketplace for a bit too long. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video on how I go about kind of filtering through guitars in Facebook Marketplace. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. I make tons of videos all the time. Do you have any questions about trading? I want to know about them, what you, what you think about some of these guitars that I'm going through on Facebook Marketplace. I trade guitars as a hobby. It's a fun thing for me. I get content for the channel, and I get great pieces. And I want to kind of share that knowledge with you so you can be a more, you know, a better informed buyer. And also maybe try some of these things on your own time and find a guitar you truly love. Thanks for hanging, guys. We'll see you next time on iGuitar.